Pray, tell us again, how did you see? Uh, what then, it, how does it work? I then see as a human being does in terms of uh, three-dimensional thing, pictured manifestations, if you call it. Uh, we see everything in various different uh, color expressions or reflections, wherein everything that as a form is a particular shape, but it's all shaped by tiny formed molecules, it's various different colors. So, for example, a chair, it would be like a, a light brown um, with a black tint formed. Uh, with these tiny molecule shapes. The human being is the flesh color, but also slight yellow. But all the various different reflective colors of, for example, yellow and flesh color or brown that you can imagine exist is what we see. And we're quite attracted in terms of our movement to what glistens, which is usually either from the physical light reflection or uh, water reflection or things like that. And so you say you've, what do you say, you're attracted to this glistening and what happens then? Uh, it, it, it looks like, if there's a glistening, it's like um, there's something beyond it or within it, like you can go to it and then you'll move through it into an eternal reality. It's like very interesting, it's like how everything reflects within each other, so it gives the illusion of eternity. But then when you get there, you're just in a different position and everything else towards the same. <laughs> so you move accordingly hmm. towards the listening. So the eternal trap that the praying mantis is in, no different to the eternal trap that man is in, just a different form of Look at his body in the back. Versus, you know, it's no, it's damaged. Don't, don't, don't. Okay. Thank you.